Okay guys, so there's a, I just put the pill in, as you can see there. So you guys sponsoring Nancy? There we go. That's her food, and I'll give her some wet to do that with, and I'll go inside and sneak a video. I'll put a carpet, a little mat out here on the porch, or sometimes they take it. So do you, got, there you are for the uh, sponsors. There's your, uh, you know, you do the sponsor video, you tell how your child's doing. Well, there's your baby, and she's eating her, uh, what was it, the uh, flea medicine I got for her? So, luckily, it's, it's very hot out. So, luckily, she's eating the, uh, the flea medicine. When she finishes that, she's going to be flea-proof. And then she goes back to her little litter of two. I hope it's still two of them that the other one, one of them didn't die. When she gets back there, the fleas can get on her for the next... I think 24 hours and they'll just try to bite her and they'll die from her toxic her toxic little bloodstream that stuff works like great and it doesn't hurt the cat I've used it on many cats it works so great I've seen flies land on their stuff and die so it's amazing and I, I tell you it's safe I was very scared the first time I used it on my Bruce and Georgie when they had fleas, you know, because I've read there's a possibility of, of the side effects, but nope, safe as can be. Wow, she's knocking that off. So well, she's knocking the paste off, I call it. And then we'll be switching over to the, the nuggets. Wow, Nancy, something else. She's the mama one, she's the baby mama. I mean, she's Lily's baby, and she's the mama to the babies. So it is so hot you hear a fan in the background and that's her eating the uh, dry nuggets now. So she switched from moist to dry. And she looks like she's really hungry. That heat's got her in all day until just now. Okay, so good morning people. Look, this guy's beat me to the punch over here a little bit. I said I'm going to do a video about this. Talking about lawsuit. His wife would be part of the lawsuit because she's part of the... Hmm. His wife would be part of the lawsuit because she's part of the group and on the ship communicating with him down in the death trap. I said, you beat me to it. She was going to be part of a video. With that said, I'm trying to find the person's comment. Someone else wrote, well, five days ago and then uh, four days ago. I'm finally responding to it now because I don't get to see these comments, replies much, guys. So uh, not all of them. But this one asked, um, I may just be brisk averse. We talked about that. Uh, with the person I did, then they then then they are. I would not call it. They should have had an unmanned bot or or two down there with them that would have towed them up quick. And also, many times did they have to uh, softly suggest surfacing to the to the uh, pool to that pool. Um, all right. So did they have to softly suggest you know coded talk? I think you should bail on this one. I agree. They should have had a little unmanned submersible, which aren't cheap, and or just a simple tether to the vessel, to the top side. But th those uh, are ex expenses. And he believed there's seven, seven or so, seven or less, some right about seven redundant systems would uh, bring them up in the time that they need to come up, you know, in a timely manner not thinking of any extra weight would be added to his vessel like a somebody made fun a greenland shark just saying oh wow i just need to take a rest for a minute just lays on top of the top of the vessel it's sort of a joke but there are uh you know sharks that fish that do follow other fish and lay on top of each other and swim with each other they don't actually lay on there like an elephant but um all right so I'm going to do a Columbo move on you, and it's answered in tomorrow's video or the next video. I think I'll put this out for you today, this short one. The Columbo move is, um, can't think I'll slip it in now or afterwards. I'll, I'll, I'll slip it in afterwards. Okay, so his wife is, I, I wrote the lady, uh, the person that wrote me, it looks like a lady's name. Um, could be a guy. His wife is part of the crew, this is what I state, above, and she might have also done the math, you know, knowing that, that when the, uh, the crew's not responding, 
that, um, wow, this is not going to be good. If they don't come up in the next you know, few minutes, if we lost communication only, is all you're going to say. What are you going to say to the Coast Guard? We lost communication with our vessel. Don't be the ship that cries wolf. Well, well, have you ever lost communication before? Yes. Well, how long will it take on the surface? Oh, say seven, eight, eight hours. Okay, well, when that window's closed, let us know. We're going to we'll do it then. But right now, they could be surfacing, correct? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so then that's, that ends up. Why the timeline before calling for help, you guys wonder? Remember, they did have a rate of descent that was coming up. They heard cracking. You have to realize the cracking, in their theory, their theory of how this works is that cracking subsides as you decrease pressure as you rise. He did state he was rising, but very slowly. Couldn't figure out why it was so slow. Per the transcripts, if the transcripts are true. Okay, so then his wife's up there and other people on the ship too. You want them to call above his wife? Well, how's that work? I'm from the SS Minnow, and... uh. I want to call it in. Are you the captain? No. Okay, so put the captain on the phone. Uh, captain's on the line, right? Are you calling for a S, uh, SOS, a uh, save our souls, a distress, a lost ship, a lost person? No, I didn't. Okay, well, then you need to talk to your crew member. All right, captain's call calls. Oh, it's... it's it's, it's, it, we're calling for that member. Same thing about, okay, what's his situation? All right, so we don't know if he's lost yet. He could be rising to the surface. Again, we'll be on standby. We'll be monitoring you. We'll check in with you every hour. Let us know what the status is. Because, you know, we're, it's not like we're going to send down a diver down there to go get him at 3,000 feet. It's not like we're going to resource from around the world 3,000 go down 3,000 feet, although they might have started aligning it, you know, a good uh, Coast Guard would start aligning the, uh, you know, putting people on notification, that might, that might have been true, um, that might have happened, you know, had they called earlier, and that would have been time they needed, and that would have been critical time had they been found dead inside the sub without oxygen, that phone call would have been critical at that point, their mobilization because it, I don't know how long they took to finally get the ship to leave the shore. This, that would have been the time it takes. That that, that it could have been a life saving. I don't know if it took six hours to finally you know get the ship ready to leave docks wherever they were to, to come there with the ROV. That would then put a cable on it and yank it up. All right, so that they had to use multiple ships, as I understand, like three ships to get enough cable to go down. Because um, frankly, they don't go down that deep. All right. I further wrote, uh, right, they don't want to be the ship that calls wolf, right? The ship that calls, you know, the hunter that calls wolf, wolf. So the, the, there's your timeline why you can't call in. Then you have the wife there who's probably holding out hopes of all hopes, and she doesn't want to call it in already, knowing that there's more than likely if he's at the bottom, there's probably no way they're going to get an ROV. She's not stupid, I don't think. They're not going to get an ROV. Incidentally, she's the lady that I make fun of in one of the videos. And I say, wow, what's this old lady doing here with all this gray hair? This young crew and then this old lady with this gray hair. Well, it's his wife. Nepotism or is that, hey, she's part of the financial, so it's not nepotism. No more. And he's nepotism, right? He's part of the crew. But they had exceptions to age, as we know. Age and color. And I don't care if you don't like that or not, you little snowflakes. So anyway, um, so you have that issue. Now here's the Colombo move. He stated that he had another, multiple ways to come up to the top. One of which, in his video, let's use the uh, guy that came, the, di the, the guy that does river diving, whatever it is, and makes a big deal about finding junk in the river. Um, millions of followers. All right, so him. The one that that lied about saying, "Oh, we we I don't know what we were doing." Lied in his own video because he stated it, they were going down three thousand feet, and then said, "Oh, it was fog." All right. So am I, that, that the both the both of those true stories can't uh, exist as truth. He knew what they were doing that they were going down three thousand feet. He said so not once but twice, and fog really. Fog's being a problem for what, the, the mothership? Well, what happens when they're at the bottom and the mothership sees fog? Does she call? Quickly, come up. There's a fog storm coming. 
it'll be here in uh, eight hours, I predict. And they come up and, I go, and the person says, oh, well, you know what? No, six hours rising. They go, or three hours rising, let's say. Whatever it takes to rise, right, two hours. Oh, never mind. You can go back down now. The fog, it looks like uh, it's going the other direction because you know we can't stand our fog. Really? Come on, guys. All right. So they have multiple ways. Here's a Columbo move again. Multiple ways to bring the ship vessel up. One of which was, oh, sh I have to pee, guys. I'm sorry. Out of nowhere, I got to tell you I have to pee. Hmm. I wonder what the hell that is. Okay, that was your hint. That was your hint. And just answer my question on why you think I, not why I said it like that, but what would you have, what would you have answered me? What would your answer have been? And then when you answer that question, I want you to think where it's located on the vessel and then what effect would that have on the vessel? This will be revealed in tomorrow's video. This is the teaser video. But what effect would it have? I do leave out one piece of the effect that I'm asking you now. What effect would that have? Think about the location of that, that issue that I just mentioned, having to go to the bathroom. Think about the location of it, where he states it is. Uh, this is what we, we put these 24-inch uh, long steel pipe, sewer pipe that you can get anywhere in the world. And they weigh 37 pounds. We, we feed them in there, and then that actuator runs a, a geared mechanism we dump the pipe one by one so almost every sub has something you got to dump if, if that system if that electrical system fails because this is pretty critical to getting back to the surface you can get back with the buoyancy bag which you can see uh, you can see the bottom of it here there's a mm. basically a bag and that that black high pressure tank back there uh, feeds the 10,000 psi air into the bag well, 10,000 psi will barely fill the bag. It's like it's about two thirds full at uh, Titanic depth. When you get to about 3,000 meters, it gets it totally full, um, and it's way more than you need on the surface. So that's one method of getting to the surface. But we we typically weight this up very heavily to get down. And you drop. We'll load uh, six weights in there, and we'll drop four of them to get back to the surface. If that system fails, so you had a complete electrical failure and you can't activate those things, this is a hydraulic cylinder that goes into the cabin and there's a hand pump, 10,000 PSI hand pump. So From you, a lovely cat sponsors of the channel. Some people appreciate you sponsoring.